I've made this video to help you understand why earplugs may be useful to keep water out of your ear canal and some of the various styles and their features which we'll be reviewing individually. No earplug can absolutely guarantee you'll keep all water out. If you have a serious condition that could be aggravated by water, you may not wish to expose your ear canal even with the use of an earplug. A variety of reasons to want to keep water out. You may not like the feel. You may have had infection due to water exposure. You want to protect your eardrum from forces involved in certain sports, which in some cases can cause a tear in the eardrum. You spend time in cold water, that can lead to bone growth. And if you have a hole, you want to keep water out to minimize the chance of infection beginning. There are a variety of styles and can be kind of confusing, so we'll help sort these out by looking at their individual features and characteristics. The earplugs I'm showing are readily available at drugstores, surf shops, and on the internet. There's also many other excellent earplugs. So there's not a single best earplug. Best earplug for you is the one that works for your needs. Different earplugs have different features depending on your activities. Everyone has a differently shaped ear canal, including left and right. Some earplugs are designed to both keep water out and reduce sound transmission. Others are designed to let sound through. Those designed for sound transmission may typically be more safely used with scuba diving, but check with the manufacturer. Those with leeches can help you keep from losing them. Some people find the leeches annoying. There is a caution if you have a tightly sealed earplug to gently extract it so you don't risk injuring the eardrum or bones behind the eardrum. Here's an overview of the earplugs we'll be looking at in more detail individually. The top one has three soft dome flanges. The next one has ribbed flanges, solid material also comes with a leash. The third comes both vented, unvented, with and without a leash in various sizes. And you can see it's a left and right specific. The fourth one is left and right specific with interchangeable parts accommodating different sizes, lets sound through, has a leash. The fifth one has a channel to let sound through and comes in three sizes. The bottom is a sticky moldable silicone. These are the models I'll be using to display the earplugs. On the left is the left outer ear. On the right, we have a cutaway of a right ear canal. The outer portion of the ear canal varies. As you close your mouth, it becomes smaller. As you open your mouth, it becomes larger. The ear canal is an extended S shape and not the linear cone as depicted in the right hand model. The narrowest part of the ear canal can be anywhere, but it's typically in the outer third where cartilage underlies the skin. The length of the ear canal is roughly an inch from the outer part of the ear canal down to the level of the eardrum. The skin of the outer third of the ear canal is somewhat thicker and is where wax is produced, the inner two thirds paper thin, thinnest skin in the body. Here are the Heroes ear plugs, three soft domes, triangular tab, left and right are symmetric, they're solid. These float, they're rated at reducing sound transmission by 27 decibels. And they're shown in the models here. It's not necessary to get all three domes inside the ear canal to keep the water out. Some people are bothered by the inner dome and it's possible to cut that off and also to shorten the outer tab if uh, desired as depicted here. And these two domes in some people can be effective at keeping the water out as effectively as three as shown here. These are the Max ear seals four soft ribbed flanges, solid material, come with a leash. They do float and rated to reduce sound by 27 decibels. Here they're shown in the models. Again, it's not necessary to get all four of the flanges into the ear canal to have them keep water out. These are Docs Pro plugs. Uh, there's a less expensive version without the leash. They come in a left and a right. There's a pinhole to let sound through and also equalize pressure. They come in a variety of sizes. They're designed by Dr. Robert Scott surfing position, Santa Cruz, California. They do float. And here they're shown in the ear canal models. Here's the Surfer 3.0 version. The red is the left, the blue is the right. There's an outer membrane to keep water from penetrating, a channel to let sound through. There's an associated leash. These do float. Here they're shown in the model. The outer wing helps them be retained and the flange is to fit down inside the ear canal to block the water penetration. These come with extra parts that let you vary the size of the outer wings and the inner flanges. These are the hydro seals. They come in a left and a right, two soft inner flanges. There's an outer piece to aid retention. There's a channel with a baffle, keeps water out, lets sound through. The white part here indicates the left. These are the Max silicone putty. They're moldable, they're sticky. 
If they lose their stickiness, they may need to be replaced. They are rated at reducing hearing by about 22 decibels. It's not necessary to get them deeply into the ear canal, but sitting at the outside is adequate to keep water out. Sometimes better retained with a swim cap or a neoprene hood. If you choose to use earplugs to keep water out of your ear canals, you may have to try several styles to find those that work best for you. Some may stand better if they're retained with a swim cap or a neoprene hood. Some interfere with hearing less. The solid ones should not be used when diving since so they do not allow equalization in the ear canal. There's also many other types not shown here which can be quite satisfactory.